Hello, I am Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of our Civilization V Austria One City Challenge. Uh, in this episode, I'd really like to get the uh, Temple of Artemis and uh, Hanging Gardens and also I'll try to solve our problems with Barbarians because they already uh, slowed us down enough. We will definitely, or definitely, we will try to get rid of this camp. It might be a bit of a problem with arches around. Uh, and once that's done, I will try to get rid of this one as well. I was thinking about maybe destroying this one and then wait if we get a quest from Riga to destroy it. But uh, I just don't want to uh, keep fighting all the new units the camp would be spawning. Let's get rid of all the barbarians and focus on, uh, uh, on the development of our city and territory. Uh, we're gonna start by buying a warrior. I don't think I have a choice here. I really wanted to save all the money for the first marriage with Riga. But um, yeah, in this case, I just have to do this. Uh, also, it'll make it so much easier taking out the camp to the south. When we have two warriors to work with. Uh, what I want to do is move to the side a little bit and just wait for the warrior to arrive, get rid of the hand axe, that will give us time to heal up. And by the way, let's make sure we know exactly what we are doing. Now we can end the turn. Uh, fine, let's hit hand axe. Can we get a kill? That would be nice. Nope, what is it? Seven hit points. Okay, let's at least hit the archer. I think we can do that. We lost one science, that's not the end of the world. I hope the archer will just keep hitting the pathfinder, or maybe move back, that works as well. And we'll make sure the handex can't block our tiles anymore. Good. Keep going. So I'll just uh, move south. If uh, the Hendex moves back to Vienna, then he dies to one hit from the city. So that's fine. And I probably should have checked the Ara around the camp. What exactly are we up against? Never mind. I'll just hit the archer again. Move. Fortify. What is this? 14? Oh, what? Um, I'm a bit confused now. I'm actually really confused right now. We lost 14 food. That's a lot. But how did that happen? I mean, it happened somehow. This is a picture of a hand axe. So, that had to be the guy that I almost killed. But how did he die? I mean... It's not possible for him to attack and then move so far that I wouldn't see him. So he had to die during the attack. But the hand axe has ranged one, so he's not a mellow. What? How did the range unit die while attacking? Okay, this is weird. This is definitely, <laughs> definitely weird. But hopefully he's dead and we won't be losing any more food to him. 14 food. I think Barbarians already slowed down our growth by like 4 turns. I don't mean that one uh, hand axe, I mean like overall all the barbarians that we had to fight. That's a pretty significant uh, amount of time. Well, at least this is nice. Far ahead. At least our capital is ahead. Fortify. I want to wait till it heal up properly. I wanted to check this for like six turns, always forgot to do it. <clears throat> so I don't want to move to this tile. I take damage from the archer. How can I do it? Move back. 
You will move this way, and next turn we switch these two. That works. And that also gives us time to properly heal the warrior. Good. Can go north and give me vision on the second camp. Nice. Now with two warriors, we can hopefully take care of the camp and the units around it. Actually, maybe I should stay here after all. May need that extra damage from the Pathfinder. It's not much, but he can also like absorb some damage from those archers. This will probably be a good example. Is that yours is gone? We don't care about that. This is a bit risky, but I think Brood can't finish off the warrior. Now I can take care of the archers safely. It'd be nice if the city state just helped us. That would be great. They have, what, three warriors doing nothing. Ok, fortify. Another policy that's of course sovereignty and we have two turns. Is it gonna change three turns? But I need the artist as soon as possible, I need the extra culture as soon as possible. So I'm just gonna do it next. Yeah, and that's the problem with the uh, the food that we've lost. Uh, if we had that food, we would already have have eight population to work at the court chapel and wouldn't have to make compromises. Okay, you'll move this way. We have to wait four turns until we can pop the great engineer. But, uh, well, that's fine. I really want to have uh, the manufactory on top of a luxury. And what the heck? Oh, we have the reward. Because uh, the city state wanted the engineer. Okay, great. Fortify. Next. Now they are fighting the barbarian. And this one is running away. Okay. Let's move to the camp. Fortify, fortify. Wait. Now we have enough population. Work everything important. 20 turns to grow. Well, we don't have uh, the food wonders yet, so the number will change. Regular requests road. Well, that's probably not gonna happen. Let's take care of that camp. Now we should be allies. 109 influence. We are getting seven and a half food per turn. That's not bad. Can we get 750 gold in 10 turns? Probably not. But the decay of the influence shouldn't be that fast with the friendly city state. So let's try to find a way how to get the marriage before uh, the alliance ends. We can also still kill the archer and that will count For uh, this quest, hopefully. That might be a little bit more influence. Come on, move closer. Right. Oh, barbarian. So teach us to... This is a floodplain, right? Uh, 
Catch a lap. And move. We'll move closer to the coast. I want to make sure that I kill the archer if he disembarks again. Um, general points. It's nice to get some general points, but... We would have to get, what, five more quests like this to get the great general. That's not gonna work. Or that's not gonna happen, that's what I wanted to say. Okay. Get the kill. It was what, 107? Okay, it worked great. So we are now at what, 122. That looks good. Let's uh, move so that we can stop the hand axe from getting uh, to the engineer. Actually, can get the manufactory. I might have made a mistake here. I should have queued up the barracks first so to get the extra production from removing the jungle. I'm not sure uh, if I lost it or not. No, I didn't lose it. Okay, it's fine. It's here. Next. I'll just hold this tile, make sure the Handex can't get uh, to the manufacturer. That's the most important part. And uh, if he moves closer, we just bombard him with the city. Uh, you can move back. Same here. And once we are healed up, we move to that camp. 20 turns to get mathematics, 16 turns only to get our fourth social policy. That is pretty good because usually uh, you have to wait for the fourth social policy before we can start building hanging gardens. In this case, because we got culture as a city state quest reward, we are actually ahead of the curve culture wise. So uh, we won't lose any time on hanging gardens. That's pretty important. What the hell? How is he doing so much damage? Production, we have 25, so it's like a half turn worth of production. Okay, maybe it's not that bad. But still. Hey, Poland. It's not a neighbor that I wanted to have. Poland, I think, might be the strongest safe from what I've decided to pick. Um, together, probably with Indonesia. We could trade. Get one gold per turn on top of that, because we'll get more chocolate eventually. On the other hand, how much do we care about another luxury right now when it gives like one happiness? It might be better to just get four gold per turn. Okay, just go away, barbarian. This will help. Get the money for the marriage. Also, we have to buy a trireme as soon as possible so that we can start exploring properly and, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, find uh, more city states. There. Hopefully, problems with barbarians are solved now. Farming. I won't even get a worker this time. I don't think that we really need it unless we are forced to repair pillaged tiles. Because all the tile improvements that I want to get will be from great people.
Nine turns. Actually, we just want as much food as possible because we are farming already. Yep, just maximum food. Killing. And uh, let's position our units on the like these uh, tiles that are like farthest away from our capital on these tips. Uh, where they can see as far as possible in case there are like scouts moving around or maybe triremes moving around of um, other AI so that we have the highest uh, or maximum possible chance to spot them. Also, I want to see if uh, there are maybe settlers coming. It's definitely possible that Poland, who seems to be to the south, decides to send the settler north and colonize the area. Probably can't afford to like declare it on them and try to stop it because that could cost me my, my ally. It's strength fifteen. I think three or four triremes can easily take the city state. Well, I was hoping that. Somehow, we'll be able to secure at least the northern half of the island for ourselves. That's not going to happen. Poland just entered Classical Era. Nice. At least you can check how they entered it. Uh, 220, 220. Okay, that's good. And 216. So they entered the Renaissance Era through sailing. Okay, so now I definitely can't afford it to declare war on him. Uh, I thought he already had ships, didn't realize that ships come with classical era, but now he has access to both Drummonds and Triremes. And once he builds a few ships, he can definitely take Riga in case we declare, for, declare war. He can't afford to lose our first ally. What is this gonna start renewal? Probably buy this style at some point. At least make sure they can't start the city here. And uh, like steal our pearls right away. And... Okay, Poland, could you move away that stupid pathfinder? I'm trying to save the world from a barbarian invasion here. Hope I can get to the camp before it spawns another unit. If I get here in time and start attacking, I could force the camp to spawn multiple galleries that I then could use as a protection for my territory, make it more difficult for any potential settlers to get here. I don't know if you guys noticed, but when you start attacking a barbarian camp, it usually spawns a reinforcement in like two turns. Uh, and when they can't spawn a land unit, they would spawn a gully. So I could just attack a couple of times, make sure the brute doesn't die, just like do some damage, wait for a gully to spawn, wait for the camp to heal up, uh, rinse and repeat, and basically create some kind of gully uh, protection, like protection fleet, that would be just uh, moving around the coast and threaten all the embarked units. Would that work? Let's see, let's just hit the camp once and see what, what's, ha what's gonna happen. Now uh, we have an artist, so that's gonna be a great work. Three turns to get mathematics, one turn to get our next social policy. Uh, let's keep an eye on this. Come on, come on, give me that gully. 
There is one, but it's not the, the one that uh, spawned on this turn, or that would spawn on this turn. Let's hit the camp again. He'll heal. I want to try if this works. There's our social policy. So that we can lock another specialist slot. I don't want to buy another tile. Seven turns. So far, no settlers. One turn for mathematics. Uh, yeah, there is the trireme. Well, oh, but did you see that? Did you know this? Uh, the camp just hatched another gully. There is another Polish trireme. Well, with triremes, Poland is gonna uh, kill the gullies without any problems. Whatever. This also feels like cheating, so I'll just kill the camp. Um, now, Hanging Gardens, Roman Forum, get rid of the farming. I'd really like to get both. It's uh, a little bit greedy. Fine. Fine. But... Uh, Roman Forum is not one that uh, the allies would really care about too much. I think we may have a chance. We think 428. Maybe move. There it is. I knew they would send the settler. Dude, can't you just settle down here? Yep. And now I basically have to buy this tile. Because if I don't, this is a Pretty good city location, right next to two luxuries. Uh, that sucks. I just... I don't want to attack him, but... It maybe scare him, scare him off. Let's see... Okay. Just keep moving. There's... Nothing interesting around here, around here. Trust me. Forty-five. We start the city here. That wouldn't be the end of the world. Even brute beasts. Did we get anything? We got we got double fish. Oh, and look at this tile. I understand why they wanted to settle here. Look at the city, potentially. Triple fish. Perils. One, two, three. Triple chocolate. Bison and bananas. Wow, this city would be nuts. Only weakness of the city is it's not on the hill. Almost better location than what our capital has. 
Okay. Fortify. Actually, maybe let's check these tiles just in case there is something. They could still be like, I don't know, Great Barrier Reef. We get, actually, it would be out of range, never mind. But it still could be there. Nope. Now we got those perils. 8, 14, 9, 15. Okay, never mind. I'd like to work the tile to get the gold. But it's not worth slowing down the production by a turn. Mausoleum is gone. Okay, keep going. Uh, now I could just snipe the settlers so easily. I think he's gonna just settle right here. Can I somehow stop him? No, I don't think so. Well, I think at least I slowed him down by a few turns. Actually, what the hell are you doing, Poland? Hey! They're confused. move obviously they don't want to start the city here just just stay where we are Sometimes what happens is that the AI decides on a city location, and as long as you have a unit standing on that one tile, it just get con gets confused and doesn't know what to do with the settler, and that's happening here. So I'm trying to like, block as many city locations here as possible, so that Poland just uh, doesn't settle anything in the end. I mean, uh, embassy. Okay, you have writing, that's bad. We can forget about Great Library here. But look at him! He's just moving away. He doesn't know what to do. Fortify. Yeah, he's just running away. Pretty sure he's gonna return soon, but uh, well, that gives us some more time maybe to uh, do something about this. I mean, a citadel here would block so many cities. Maybe even a citadel here would be better. How many points do we need for a great general? Too many. It's the closest free great person. Not from social policies. What gives a great free great people? First, I'm like. Free great person is probably from Leaning Tower. Um. Okay, never mind. Just trying to figure out a way how to block these tiles, but that's not gonna happen. Uh, raid. Now we can probably work those perils. We are making, what, 10 gold per turn, and when it comes to influence, we are looking at 97. This is gonna be close. I hope we can make it.
Okay, that's free, uh, free garden and of course hanging garden. So that's the the important food. And how the hell? Oh, 16 turns because um, now the wonder is more expensive, right? All right. Things up in. Somehow we are now making 15 gold per turn. 13. Let me do the math. How much do we need? 20 something turns. And in 20 turns we're gonna lose. What? Let's say 20 influence. Uh, that's still fine. So 13 gold per turn should be fine. Okay, the settler is back. Round two. What's it gonna be? I'm not settling here. Fortify. If I could force them to settle maybe on the bison, that wouldn't be that bad. It would be actually a horrible city. Stop this. Fortify, fortify. Uh, we got some extra food. 12, 12, 6, and 6. Okay, fine. They're getting so much food from uh, uh, those hanging gardens that makes no difference. Next. Now we are moving north. Let's block this. This. Keep moving north with the settler. And now I have a feeling he's just gonna settle on top of the hill. Can I stop that? Best I could do is to buy the mountain that's still not good enough. I think now it's gonna happen. Is this? Yep. There is room for another city to the south. Well, we knew it would happen eventually, so let's just try to stay friendly with them. Uh, does he have any problems with borders now? They are competing for wonders, different social policies, no contested borders, but it's probably gonna change. That goes great library. It was him, right? Yep. Fortify, fortify. Managed to build a great library even before I researched writing. this case I'll slow down the growth a little bit in exchange for the gold make sure we get the marriage I 
I shall send the pathfinder down. Check what's what we can see from this tile. Actually, we can also check what we can see from this tile. Uh, what do you think you're doing? Just an emissary. Emissary is fine. As long as it's not a great diplomat, I don't care. Seven. We are on 622. How the hell did we drop down to 11? Are working all the gold. Hell? Anybody? Why did the gold fairy turn drop? What am I missing here? Hey, there is another settler. Still no contested borders, but that's gonna change. We got... Actually, there is something interesting. There is another city-state. How do you want to use the Great Diplomat? Just move this way. I'll wait for the ability to embark. I think if I want to embark with the Pathfinder, I have to go back and get it inside my territory. That's fine. I want to uh, check the city state. I want to see what it is. And I could maybe get another alliance with the diplomat. Because then we can get a free emissary from... Uh, Scrivener's office. We might be able to maintain the alliance long enough to get enough money for another marriage. Library, market, Scrivener's office. I care about getting market fairs, but I can't uh, neglect science. Not this early. Next. Pantheon. Anything interesting? There's, what the hell is this? Gain, fate, golden age, gold every time a citizen is born. Okay. I will have to try that Pantheon one time just to see how well it scales up. move back there's nothing for our warriors now he tried to block those cities for a while it worked but yeah. it didn't have a choice like declaring war would be a bad idea i've noticed quite a few ships and that would be just too risky i don't think that they would be able to like attack vienna but we would most likely lose riga that's just not acceptable. Okay, let's try to avoid barbarians. Genoa, hostile, mercantile. 
Rekindal is nice. We have Jade and Glass. Yeah, I'd rather get... Well, culture would be the best, of course. But um, I wouldn't mind military sticks at this stage so that I don't have to worry about units. We would just get them for free. I think... Just take... We can. Uh, right, explore manually. Probably better. I'll land. Let's get a vision here because this is still a viable city location, and the last thing we need is. Polish city on this side as well, especially because I can block this uh, city location. What does it look like with the border growth? Of course, it's going to grow the other way. Except embassy, sure. Where are you? What do you have here? Oh, that's quite a bad location for a capital. Tundra everywhere. Silver gives culture, that's not a bad... Uh, bad monopoly, especially for Poland, who already can do crazy things with social policies. I should check this tiny island first. Fortify. Because this is a hostile city-state, I'm not gonna pop the, the diplomat yet. I'll wait... Uh, Basically, until I have, uh, or he'll be sitting here, until I get enough money for the royal marriage. And then I'll pop him, and also the emissary uh, we'll get from um, from the Scrivener's office. So if I popped him now, we would lose the alliance long before we get money for the marriage, and it would be a like, wasted influence. How are we doing here? 81? Okay, this will be close, but... Should be able to make it. More people. 13. Still 13? 11, that's better. And it's actually slow down uh, the production by a turn, but I think. In this case, I want the growth. Stay in the city. Fortify. One more turn. You have 80 in front. Okay, that's fine. Fortify. And there is the marriage. Really? Not even a turn of that great engineer? I thought that would give us 15%, I thought it would be at least a turn. Let's see, maybe I need a turn, or need to end the turn, so that the game can process the change. Oh. Oh, hello, another tiny island. Okay, let's wait next to it, I want to see... I want to uh, disembark here and see everything around. It's not gonna leave. Come on, Poland. Need to know what's around. This is also a pretty decent city location, or maybe this one is better. That's triple, one, two, three. That's actually quadruple fish. One, two, no, this one is too far. And this would be one, two, three, four, four. Five. It will be five tiles with fish. 
Wow. Damn, this island would be good if this was, wasn't one city challenge. I would definitely position cities a little bit differently, but it would be like four pretty damn good cities. Wait. Okay, there we go. Riga seeks a war. Oh man, this is perfect. There's a prophet. Let's get some vision. Okay, there are barbarians. This looks like a bigger island. Or yeah, there are definitely some lint tiles. But uh, we have a war. We already have one alliance, and we can get the other one immediately. And that gives us a lot of gold. And use that gold for a diplomatic marriage with Genoa. This is perfect. Just have to maintain the alliance for 10 turns. So I'm not gonna pop the great diplomat until I get uh, uh, the Scrivener's office. How much influence would it be? Just curious. 80. So yeah, that's like four turns that we would lose the alliance. I'll need both. I'll need the emissary and the, the diplomat to maintain the alliance for long enough to get the marriage. But we'll do that in the next episode. Let's just go through all these pop-ups. Next social policy is gonna be splendor. We need the, the extra food, extra culture. All that good stuff, and also we will get the golden age points and culture when we pop the uh, the great diplomat. It was worth waiting, that's for sure. Now the question for you guys: Our religion. Uh, we change anything compared to what we did with Arabia, or do we just stick to uh, divine inheritance? Even though we won't be focusing on golden ages, we should still get. To a point where we will have a never-ending golden age. So that would be my choice. And then uh, for uh, follower belief, I would again go with Mandirs. Mandirs are just too good because of that 10%. What is it? 10% uh, food overall with all the food that we are getting from our wonders. That just scales up so well. That would be my choice. Also, it prevents the assassination of great people. Uh, another option would be to risk it. Wait uh, with Mandirs for the second follower belief. And instead grab maybe asceticism. Question is, is it actually better now than Mandirs? I have a feeling that Mandirs might be giving more food uh, than asceticism right now. Another option would be Diligence. I'm not sure that we need this much uh, production. We should get enough production from uh, manufacturers. But then another option would be Thrift, actually. So that we get more money uh, for, for the diplomatic marriages. The problem is it's capped at 10 gold. So we would be getting... A belief that just means plus 10 gold per turn, nothing else. That sounds quite weak. Uh, thrift is good when you have a uh, like large empire and each city produces 10 gold per turn. Then you can easily get like 200 gold per turn from this. So I think actually we could also try like two religious buildings. Mastery may work, maybe, but that's more like a second follower belief. Definitely don't want to start with this. But later, when we get, uh, I don't know, like 20 specialists, this is actually pretty decent. So what do you think? I'm, I'm pretty sure that I want Divine Inheritance, unless 
you guys some somehow find a way how to convince me that something some other belief is better. But I'm really not sure here. One deer's asceticism or something else. Yeah, what do you think? Let's talk about that in the comments. And uh, we will decide uh, at the start of the next episode. What is this, by the way? Oh, we got the, the bonus from the Great Prophet, I think. So the timing was perfect, actually. We got the Great Prophet at the same time as the uh, social policy that gives us the bonus. Okay, good. But well, this episode is over. So I hope that you liked it. I hope that you're going to join me for the next one again. And until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.